Give us the quick lowdown of what Powerless is about. Uh, Powerless is a single camera, half hour workplace comedy, but the twist is that it's set in the DC universe. So it's the world of Wonder Woman and Batman and Aquaman, but the show is about what it would be like to just be a normal person with no powers, doing your punishing cubicle existence uh, with those people flying outside your window. Want to add to that, Michael? It'd be like what would happen if like you lived in the DC universe. You know, you, you, you. Uh, this is what you. This is what your life would be like. Everyone would fantasize that you'd be like a hero, or you'd be perhaps a villain, or or a sidekick, or something like that. You wouldn't be. You'd just be you. <laughs> it's, it's almost like we're telling superhero stories on a on a human office scale. So you've got the hero Emily, you've got the villain Dell, played by Alan Tudyk, and then you've got all the the sort of workplace romance and fun that uh, with the other characters, Danny Pudi's character and uh, Ron Funches from Undateable, who's going to be joining the cast in the second episode. What is it about Emily that makes her perspective on the DC Universe so unique, and does she like any of the heroes in the DC Universe? <laughs> it's not that she doesn't like superheroes or supervillains, it's just that she has to clean up after them on a daily basis. Uh, she's the head of claims at the insurance company Retcon. Um, so, I mean, she's, she's there picking up after the battles that happen where the city is turned to rubble. Um, it's like a different perspective. It's like the what happens after. How do the superheroes of the DC Universe think about Emily? They don't. That's sort of the point of the show is they, they with the exception of one uh, character in the pilot who has a brief interaction with her, who I would guess probably doesn't remember it afterwards. The fun of the show is how separate people like us are, would be, or Emily's, uh, Vanessa's character Emily, would be from from Batman and Superman, and in this case, Crimson Fox. They, it's, it's a lot of distance, you know? The same, the same way that George Clooney never thinks about you or me, Superman never thinks about Emily. <laughs> Give us a taste of the office politics of Redcon. Oh, okay. Well, our, we have a new boss, uh, played by Alan Tudyk, who is the son of the owner. Um, so he's been privileged his whole life and doesn't really know how to be a good boss. So he comes in and expects power and respect. And when he realizes he's not going to get that and I might be standing in the way, he uh, definitely plays dirty. Well, he ruins their lives. and and. and so he compares to actual villains in that way, that he, he strives to take things from others to enrich himself. You know, he, he looks for power wherever he can grab it. Tries to, like, make a bathroom for himself so no one else has anywhere to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, they're, they're nemesi, nemesis uh, with um, Vanessa Hudgens' character. Which, She's the best at her job, and I don't want people to do their jobs because to pay out claims on insurance means that uh, the company loses money. So I want to, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to help people. Tell us about Teddy, and does he have any dark secrets? <laughs> I think we all do, right? We all do. I think Teddy is. Um He's in this place in his life where he's uh, struggling to find out what he's good at, where are his real talents. He's constantly being show shown what he can't do by all the superheroes and supervillains around him that are flying, exploding things, lifting heavy boulders, all things Teddy can't do. What Teddy can do is talk. He can make jokes with his friend, his best friend Emily Locke. He can encourage people in the office. He's able to um, pick lunch choices when everyone else is arguing about wraps or salads. These are the things that Teddy can do. We know Crimson Fox is in the pilot. Are there any characters that you want to see on the series down the line? I mean, I love Catwoman. I've been saying Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman was like the best thing ever, and I hold it so dear to my heart. But Wonder Woman, I have like a strong love for as well. Um, I feel like she's gotten me through some times. I heard that Wonder Woman is mentioned in the pilot. Is there anybody who's off limits to you guys? Well, I, in terms of, you know, mentioning it, no. I mean, this is the whole DC universe that we get to play with, and DC has been very supportive in letting us uh, live in this world. And we're not going to see all these characters, but they're they're part of what it would... If you worked in an insurance company in the DC universe, you'd be dealing with Green Lantern and Batman-related claims, so they would have to talk about those things. Does Teddy have a favorite superhero? I think Teddy has a not favorite superhero. I don't think Teddy's a big fan of Aquaman. Why? I think Teddy is a realist in many ways. He's looking at them being on land in a skyscraper and realistically, what can Aquaman do if he's on, you know, in the ocean? And if he's, yeah, I think he may be a little bit of like, in, not really into his scaly skin, that kind of stuff, you know? It's my dream to do like an office sitcom and we get to do that, but then we have this whole other added level, you know?